Greetings brethren, Habsburger Donkey here, and I have made some good progress on these barbarian leaders. Uh, they are... Uh, let me actually adjust the light a little bit. There you go. They are more or less done. Um, <clears throat> I need to do a bit more on this shaman. Uh, the, uh, the skull here still needs highlighting and the... Uh, fur bits at the back, they still need to be painted, but um, I want to do the fur bits uh, striped with uh, white and teal, and then I also want to run a a stripe of teal down the middle of the skull, uh, and so I can do the, the, the teal down the skull, I didn't uh, do any highlights on the, the bone yet, because It'll look weird, it'll look better when there's a, a bit of a... when I can paint a shadow next to the um, the teal, and I have to know where it's going to be for that. So yeah, but other than that, um, the shaman is, is done. It's just that bit at the top. I think it'll, he came out pretty great. So all that's missing now is to get that done, which I'll probably do after dinner, and then uh, they just need to be based up. Um, the blue is uh, Storm Blue, I believe, from uh, Foundry, and uh, except for the skin tones and the metals, they were entirely painted with uh, Foundry paints. Uh, it's just when I, when I paint this sort of style, this sort of, you know, Kevin Dallymore inspired style, um, I, yeah, I just use the Foundry paints, because it's easier. Uh, every now and then I'll, I'll mix one myself, uh, a, a triad from uh, Vallejo, for example, this right here is a triad based off of track primer. Um, but yeah, usually the, the big stuff, I, I just go with the foundry paints because it, it just gives me that, that, you know, that look that I'm, that I'm aiming for. All right, so that's the, the wizard. And then we have the barbarian leader and he is already done. He doesn't have any more bits that need to be painted. So it's really just that last bit on the on the wizard. He had a, a little foxtail here I, that I just did red. So I guess it's it, now it's like a, a horse hair tail. I just wanted to add a little bit more color because he ended up a bit muted and I wanted to stand him, uh, have him stand out a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how he came out. Um, it's a pretty great model. Quite a bit of fun painting this one. I just wish the camera would properly focus and stay focused and I didn't have to hold my... Oh, there we go. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, so... That is my contribution for the Wargamers Anonymous painting challenge for July. More or less done. Um, as I said, I'm going to finish the last uh, bits on the wizard tonight and then probably base them up tomorrow uh, over the course of the day. Uh, which is good, because I, I do need to hustle, I need to get going on these two. Uh, they are for uh, the Grot Rebels Commission that I've been working on. Uh, so yeah, they need to... I need to get on with these. And they'll have to be painted a bit more... Uh, with a bit more... Uh, panache, a bit more, a bit more detail than the uh, the other uh, minis I painted for this commission. So yeah, I, I need a few days to get these sorted. Um, also, the flag that I did for the uh, for the Grot Rebels is also finished, and I think it came out really excellent. I'm really happy with it. Now I just need to. Uh, scan it in, do a little bit of uh, digital trickery. Actually, I do still need to do a proper black uh, border around the outside of the flag. I haven't done that yet. So I'll have to. Guess I'll have to do that tonight as well. But yeah, I, I do. I do still need to scan it in, do some trickery, and then that'll be done. Also, uh, and then next, uh, let me just see if I can if I can grab it. Urgh. Out of the way, methylated spirits. Next will be the Barbarian Speed Painting Project. Uh, 
So all these brown lads will be speed painted up. And then after that, I have the, uh, the giant for this army. And I need to paint one of the champions, probably her. Uh, to complete, well, I probably just paint all three. To uh, complete this little side project that will allow me to do uh, test games for Oathmark with people. If they don't have their own miniatures. And I also still have to get cracking on all of these all of these trees. Uh, still working on, on terrain. So there's there's a lot on the on the bench, but uh, I'm making making some amount of headway. So and I'm I'm not complaining because you know at least I can actually do hobby again and don't have to just lie around in bed doing nothing. So that's that's pretty great as well. Oh yeah, and um, I also have another batch, uh, a rather large batch of. Um, of metal figures that need to be uh, washed. Uh, they're already cleaned, but uh, well, you know, uh, but all the extra bits taken off, all the flashing taken off, uh, the base is filed down, and all that sort of thing. But uh, they still need to be washed so that they don't have all that grease on them. Uh, there's a mix of stuff. There's a, a wizard uh, from the from the Oathmark range. Uh, this is uh, an elf um, musician that'll be the hunt master for my wolf pa uh, for my uh, warhound pack thing. Uh, so these will both go in my mixed uh, elf, human, and uh, hobbit army, and this will be the the leader for that army, the elf king. I think he is an excellent figure. And I didn't even know he came with a shield on his back, and I, I think that's great. Um, this will be a champion for the hobbit uh, melee unit. It's a Reaper model. Uh, then we have some dwarf champions that'll be used for the dwarf project down the line. And then we have a, uh, a Frostgrave captain that'll be uh, a champion for the human unit in, in this Free People's Oathmark project thing. And then just some... Uh, oh yeah, and, and a, a, a lovely halfling wizard from Reaper. I really love this figure. He looks great. He has a little rabbit creature thingy with him. Uh, and he'll be a wizard for the, yeah, as I said, for the free people uh, halfling contingent in that army. And there, uh, oh yeah, there's also a, an abyssal dwarf iron caster. I'm not even sure if I'm still going to do this project. Uh, I've sort of had it cooking ever since they announced the new abyssal dwarf miniatures. But I am so incredibly cold on Kings of War right now that I don't know. But I, I have these, so I'll, I'll, I'll wash them at least. <laughs> and then the rest of this is just assorted uh, stuff for... Um, actually, there's one more for the dwarves. And then these are just a bunch of Frostgrave miniatures that, uh, that I bought for my Frostgrave collection. Because I, I do love Frostgrave, and the second edition is coming up, so I, I wanted to stock up on some things that I didn't have, like the Wraith Knights. And uh, a javelinier and a crow master and yeah, this captain. I don't know the. I, I don't think I'll use this for frostgrave, but uh, it'll, it'll find a use somewhere. All right, that's the update. Uh, hope you like these these barbarians so far. Um, I'll make another video uh, video once I <clears throat> have them based up. So probably tomorrow, maybe on Thursday. All right. Have a lovely evening, guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, thanks for commenting. And, um, yeah, some great stuff coming out at the moment as well uh, from other people. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Take care.